okay welcome to this video and today we are going to talk about one of the very interesting concept called as the sorting out and how the sorting out concept can be used for the analysis see the sorting out concept was originally used for the purification of the proteins so there comes a two important terms called as the sorting in and the sorting out so at certain concentration of salt at certain concentration of lower salt the salt actually supports in solubilizing proteins in the more contained but the moment you start increasing the salt concentration for very low to very high then you start seeing the the proteins get precipitate and it comes out of the solution now this higher salt concentration brings the protein out of the solution is actually called as the salting out effect so the salting out effect is nothing but the reduction in solubility of certain molecules like protein in the last example in a solution of very high ionic strength and the ionic strength of the solutions can be bring in by adding the salt so the salt out or the salting out effect is very much important as per as the purification of the protein is concerned similarly this sorting out effect can also be effectively used in the analysis and we are going to talk at during the application part so let us further understand why this is happening so when there is a enough amount of salt ions present into a solution then the salts ions and your analyte is going to compete for the water molecule because see before adding the salt your analyte was soluble inside the water but now this salt ion is also having affinity toward the water molecule so who is going to take the water molecule whether the salt ions or your analyte and hence they both are going to start competing with each other to get the water molecule and the substance which will not get the water molecule obviously it is going to get out of the solution and this is what the salting out effect is so what kind of salts you can use you can think of using sodium sulfate sodium chloride aluminum nitrate zinc nitrate or potassium nitrate now these all are the salts you must have noticed that they are highly water soluble so it is very important for salting out effect if you want to bring the salting out effect you need to choose the salts which are highly water soluble so the first point to learn that the competition between the salt and your analyte is nothing but the salting out then there is another very interesting phenomenon observed that you know in case if there is a common ion found between your salting uh, out agent like sodium chloride or sodium uh, sulfate and your analyte for example there is a sodium which is present in both your salt and your analyte it's called as the common ion now so in case if such situation arises there is an increase in the concentration of the extracted analyte observed see now this is the phenomenon where the liquid liquid extraction can be think of so in case of liquid liquid extraction your purpose of extracting the analyte into an organic phase now these two phases are immiscible the water aqueous phase and your organic phase your intention is to extract your analyte into a organic phase so the moment there is a common ion of your salt and your analyte right there is a increase in the concentration of analyte observed into the organic phase because because of this uh, common ion effect this uh, ionization of your analyte is going to get suppressed and if it is not getting ionized it is actually going to remain in a non polar or hydrophobic form not in the lipophilic hydrophilic form so if it is a non polar it is preferably going to go with the non polar organic solvent and that is the that is the way you know the, how the common ion effect plays a role in further increasing the concentration of your analyte into the non polar organic layer the third important point is you know in case of again liquid liquid extraction higher the concentration of salting out agent higher is the extraction rate hmm? so the concentration of salting out agent is very very important it cannot work at the low concentration level 
it must be it at that concentration level where the precipitation of analyte can be seen hmm? and it has also been seen that further to that if you increase the concentration of your salting out agent then the extraction rate the speed of extraction of your analyte into the organic layer will further increase so higher the concentration of salting out agent higher is the extraction rate of your analyte into the organic layer and i am talking in the context of liquid liquid extraction the next point is also about the liquid liquid extraction and in this case higher the concentration of salting out agent higher the distribution ratio so what is the distribution ratio the distribution ratio is nothing but the concentration of your analyte into organic layer divided by concentration of your analyte into the aqueous layer hmm? the concentration of analyte into organic layer divided by concentration of your analyte into the aqueous layer so this is the calculation formula for distribution ratio so that is that means that at the higher concentration of salting out agent your concentration of analyte into organic layer is going to get increase and that is why the distribution ratio is also high and that is what you are looking for so higher salting out agent is also going to make sure that your concentration or the extraction efficiency is further going to get increased so to just enhance the extraction efficiency you can think of adding a more salting out agent during the liquid liquid extraction the fifth one is the function of salting out agent increases with the ion valency so it is very important to understand that the more is the valency of ion of your salting out agent the more will be its uh, efficiency so for example aluminum has a three valency zinc is having the two valencies and potassium has one valency so you can think of the this the strength of your salting out agent in this way so aluminum nitrate is going to be stronger than zinc nitrate and zinc nitrate is going to be stronger than potassium nitrate i hope you understand the characteristics and working principle of the salting out agent so let us understand your know, three important applications and you can relate these applications to your real life problem also the first one is you know to increase the volatility of the analytes in headspace gc extraction technique so we all use this headspace right and during the headspace i mean when i started my career i was using this technique but i was not aware about that i have found myself adding sodium sulfate while crimping the headspace while but now i come to know i was actually using the salting out effect so in case of you are using the uh, headspace gas chromatography analysis you can increase the volatility of your residual solvent by adding salting out agent like sodium sulfate or sodium chloride anything so for example if your residual solvent is toluene and dichloromethane you can use the water as a diluent and plus add a suitable amount of let us say 1 gram of sodium sulfate inside each headspace while crimp it properly and i promise you promise you you will see a significant increase in the response for your residual solvent because the moment you add the salting out agents inside the headspace while the solubility of your toluene and mdc is further going to get reduced and they will forcefully come out of the water solution and they will be easily they will be available to escape into the available heat space while inside the gas chromatography i hope you understand how this volatility of residual solvents can get enhanced by adding the uh, salting out agent the second important uh, application is the to remove the sample matrix for polar analytes now i have personally used this effect of uh, salting out agent and this is very important in case if you are analyzing the trace level analytes for example ndmas or any nitrosamine impurities we know that they contained in a nanogram level so it becomes very difficult you know to minimize or manage the sample matrix because the sample matrix of plays a very critical role in terms of going to the required limit of quantitation level and your sample matrix if 
it is interfering with your analyte peak it becomes very difficult to develop a suitable method so how you are going to use the uh, sorting out effect for the removal of sample matrix see your analyte is what you know your analyte is let us say polar or mid polar in the nature and its content very low so the solubility of analyte will never be a constraint at that particular level but for example if your sample matrix is a polar like i am taking an example of metformin tablets where you will find the metformin api and the hpmc as a controlled release polymer now these two components are certainly going to give you a lot of interference during the method developments how you are going to ma make them out add the suitable sorting out agent like sodium chloride and then slowly this metformin and hpmc will start precipitate out of the solution and then you will see a very less amount of hpmc less amount of metformin into the aqueous solution and by that way your interference will get reduced so you can think of using the sorting out effect in case if you are uh, worried about the sample matrix effect now this is the plain sample preparation but even you can also think of you know using the sorting out effect into the liquid liquid extraction and let me show you in the point number three so to create the phase separation between water miscible organic solvents and the water this is called as a sorting out assist liquid liquid extraction the sorting out agent assisted liquid liquid extraction s a l l e now in this case now your compound is little polar in the nature and probably you will not be able to use the immiscible organic solvent at the beginning because immiscible organic solvent at the beginning can end into the poor extraction rate so you supposed to use now the water miscible organic solvent like acn or ethanol or thf use that no worry but then add the suitable so, uh, organic sorry then use the suitable uh, salting out agents like potassium or magnesium sulfate now the moment you start adding this salting out agent what is going to happen your water phase your aqueous phase will start separating from your so called earlier miscible organic phase and then you will start seeing the both immiscible phases once you reach to the required salting out concentration and you can easily have the extraction of your compound into the organic phase it can be uh, like acn it can be acetone it can be ethanol or it can be thf so this kind of technique is very well used to analyze to extract to increase the extraction efficiency of the polar compounds so these are the few important applications I thought of sharing with you as per as the salting out effect is concerned. But I am sure that you must be having few of them using into your lab. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will meet you soon with such kind of very informative and useful videos. Till then take care and bye bye see you soon.